Okay, let's have a look at... Um, let's put Matthew back in the frame. <laughs> we'll just put him back as a normal um, picture here, as normal as he can possibly be. If you knew Matthew, you'd realise that's not possible. What we're going to do with him is to uh, muck around, basically. We're going to grab hold of the graphic, put this down here so we can see the two together, and um, so we're looking at the graphic interface here on the inspector. Now um, we can put a stroke around him, so we can just put a line, a simple line, and uh, if we want to colour that, it's come up white, so what we might do is to colour that just blue, I think. Um, line colour blue, there we are. And we can you can make it a, a thick line or whatever, but we'll just make it that. Now there's a few things that we can do here which are a bit of fun. We can put in a shadow, for instance. Shadow gives it a bit of three dimensionality. Do you see how that's sort of three dimensional? If I emphasize the shadow by increasing the offset, whoops, increasing the offset, you can see how the shadow comes right out like that. Looks like the picture is is um, standing out. Now, one of the other things we can do is to add a reflection. Uh, reflections are quite good if you don't have a line, so if you get rid of the line, no and just have a reflection like that. That looks quite good, I reckon. Uh, maybe without the shadow, too. So, uh, we'll click on it and get rid of the shadow. And that's kind of a, got quite a nice reflection now. Uh, you can change the reflection, too, by having as much reflection as you want, or as little reflection as you want, just a hint of it. And the opacity of the whole photo itself can change. So if we make it quite opaque, like that. I'd use this from time to time, make it a really big photo and put it as opaque and put it uh, sort of behind everything. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to put it behind the text like that. Um, now the trouble is I can't click on the text, right? So I've got to go up here, arrange, send to back, and it sends it backwards. Now I can click on the text without any worries. And Matthew is sitting behind the text looking sinister as he often does. Uh, now there's one other thing which is which is quite interesting with this and that is you can put a graphic border on it which is pretty kitsch but a bit of fun I think. So we might make that graphic border somewhat more um, or just a bit bluer I think. Let's see, where's, where's that blue on it? Let's make it red. Um, so click on that, click on the red and it comes up red. Get the opacity back to normal. There we are. There he is. And there's actually a few different ones that they give you, and they illustrate them there so that you can make it quite a nice looking, uh, you know, border that goes around the photo. Play around with that. That's a bit of fun, I reckon. That, that pretty much does uh, that bar. The only other thing is, of course, is doing shapes. So, say so you do this, um, click on the shape, and then draw one. Um, Oops, shape. Um, now what am I doing wrong here? Oh, it's uh, sorry. No kid coming up here. <laughs> I'm a fool. Oh well, everybody has to learn somehow. <coughs> Once again, you can do the same kind of thing with, uh, you know, with a shadow to make an arrow look more prominent and three-dimensional. You can, um, you can uh, have. Uh, no border to it. Actually, that always looks quite good, I reckon. I like it like that without a border. Make it, you know, fill it with a colour of some sort, drag blue onto it or whatever you like. You can even do, um, I think you can do a gradient on it, but I'm not actually sure. Maybe not. Colour fill, oh yeah, gradient fill, there we are. So you could gradient, uh, make it a gradient fill, make the arrow so that it's sort of a, appears more you know, like, I don't know, change it from one colour to another. You can have all sorts of multicoloured things. Uh, play around with that. They're quite, you know, good arrows for sort of back and forward buttons, which are pretty easy to do. And uh, that's it.